Hi guys, this week we're making more progress with my Ruluca Zeta Plus Custom, um, and it's a beautiful day outside, so I thought, what a great day to talk about primer. Um, again, this is something that I am super cheap with, because it's the base coat of your, of your Gunpla, you're not going to have to worry about ever seeing it, so it doesn't have to be as polished as, as one might hope. And I mean, a little three ounce can of Tester's Primer is going to set you back, what, nine dollars? Whereas a big old honking thing of Krylon is five bucks for 12 ounces. Now first we do want to prep our model. Um, you can get a pack of these little uh, alligator clips with, uh, with a spike on them, and uh, it allows you to attach your, your Gunpla parts Obviously, I've disassembled this thing and uh, and put this piece together. Now, you do want to make sure that this is nice and loose. You want to be able to take it on and off. It, you don't want it to be super tight on there. Um, and of course, I mean, it's it's a, it'll grip it pretty well. Make sure you don't grab anything that you want to paint. Obviously, that that goes without saying. Everything else you're going to need, you're going to need something to uh, keep all of your parts steady and airborne so that they can dry. Um, you're also going to want to have some gloves handy. That'll come in handy. Uh, as you can see, I've prepped everything here. This isn't all the parts that need to be painted, but I ran out of alligator clips, so sue me. Um, and, and, and you can see that I'm reusing some of my cat food uh, containers. So, without further ado, let's go outside. Okay, so here we are in my backyard. Let's get ready to do some painting. Let's get that nice and lined up there. It's time to put your handy dandy gloves on. I'm about to show you why. So, here is the downside of using these kind of paints, is that they are designed for a larger surface area than your tiny plastic model. That said, you're going to need to put some more distance between the paint and the model than you would if you were using your standard testers or Tamiya uh, primer. Um, so what we're going to do here, and the temptation here is to just kind of spray the whole thing, and um, I'm going to tell you that that's not a good idea. What you're going to want to do is actually take the individual pieces off. That's just for drying. This is how you're actually going to paint it. Now, you want to put like almost a foot of space uh, between the part and your paint. Look at that coverage. Now I'm priming this guy in white because the uh, the, the model is going to be primarily white. And uh, you know you see that I've got the wing clipped there, but that's okay because it's actually going to be underneath another wing, so that'll be all right. So let's go ahead and do the rest. Ooh, now this one's a tricky piece. As you can see there, I've threaded it through on the peg because there was really no place to grab this guy that would uh, that would not be covered. So so we just have to take the whole stick and cover it that way. Now, a quick note about the paint that I'm using. I'm actually using a matte finish. I prefer matte paints on these guys because it makes them look more realistic when the uh, when everything's said and done. I'm not a big fan of glossy coats because the glossy coats make it look more like a toy. And these aren't toys. They're giant robots, right? So that's it. We are primed and ready to go. Everything looks 
like it's supposed to. As I said before, I'm priming this guy in white because the finished kit is planned to be predominantly a white kit. Um, and my hands are mostly clean. Thank you, rubber gloves. See, they always come in handy. Um, so yeah, join me next week when we actually paint this sucker. See you guys. Bye. Hey guys, if you liked that video, please like, share, and subscribe. If you really liked the video, check out my merch available on Society6 and DMs Guild. Links below in the description. New products added every week. Thanks. Catch you later.